promised to speed along the approval and building of the southern half of TransCanada's Keystone XL pipeline. Paul Hunter explains the politics behind that pledge. One of the more predictable things about Americans is they flip out when gasoline prices jump. When you do the math, the U.S. average is now just over a dollar a liter, or about 25 cents less per liter than the average in Canada. And yet, gas prices are such an issue in the U.S. that Barack Obama toured stacks of set-to-be-laid oil pipeline in Oklahoma today and told Americans he's doing what he can to keep prices down. Anybody who suggests that somehow we're suppressing domestic oil production isn't paying attention. But that's not just any stack of pipes behind him. It's to be part of the Trans-Canada Oil Company's Keystone XL pipeline. The line meant to carry crude from the oil sands of Alberta to refineries in Texas. The line Obama has delayed at the Canadian border, but today tried to expedite through Oklahoma and Texas only. Today I'm directing my administration to cut through the red tape, break through the bureaucratic hurdles, and make this project a priority. To go ahead and get it done. It would help move a glut of existing U.S. crude to refineries, though it's unclear exactly how his words...